This is Surya from MSU Final Year for Health Science. Today, we are going to discuss on the topic on evidence collection of digital evidences using Faraday Map. Before entering into the topic of Faraday Map, let me give a brief introduction about what is Faraday case. In 1836, Michael Faraday had invented a Faraday case. This which stops the EMP, electromagnetic pulse, using a metal box. When we see it is then diagram it. Let's consider that electromagnetic impulses or waves are passing from this direction to this direction. And this box consists of metals. Now, when EMP passes through this box, those charges present over this metal metallic layer will get accumulated as positive and negative charge over to the sides like here positive and here negative the moment of charges will produce a small electricity now that electricity will neglect the electricity which has been produced by the waves so now these electricity and these lenses won't enter into the particular case. In digital evidences, when an evidence has been collected from a crime scene, there are more chances for a culprit or a suspect to manipulate or demolish the particular evidences to get that, those activity to stop. Digital evidence examiner use the Faraday bag. And this is the Faraday bag. When we look over to it, it has same metallic layers which consist of copper, nickel, aluminium and dissip static dissipative quality. So let's come over to this. As we see that inside this box we are having a certain amount of electricity. So where does this go? And if we keep an electric device inside this pack, it should get affected by these electric charges which are being produced due to the movement of charge. And now this static dissipative polythene takes role. Static dissipative polythene takes role of dispersing the electrical charges that are being produced over this metallic sheets. Either it disperses the electric charges after it slows down the movement of these charges. So now let's have a practical examination of how this this works. So I have a two forms. Basically, in our 10th standard and 12th standard, we have learned that plastic is an insulator. So it should stop these electricity. So first of all, let's have a practical examination whether the phone signals are being blocked by a plastic cover as it is an insulator. So now I am calling the phone to from phone. We are claiming have an evidential thing that phone 2 can contact the phone 1 easily even though it is covered by an insulator pad. So now if let's come over with the Faraday case. As Michael Faraday said, when we cover a particular evidence, a particular box with the metallic sheet, so I have taken an aluminium foil and even now the phone has been ringing, I am keeping this inside. I have packed the phone one cover completely. Now I am trying to call my phone. Even the phone 1 rings, we can't get the sound of phone 2. This proves that Michael Faraday has said correctly that it stops the RF frequency. So when we come into a cyber forensic thing, Cyber forensic basically has a good number of workstations. These workstations produce a high frequencies which can't be stopped by single piece of aluminium paper. 
so most often we have this four set of work static dissipative polymer aluminum nickel and copper cover and it has been covered with a leather finish so now let's have a practical examination whether the phone one which is connected with this top um, smart watch is getting disconnected or not so now i am calling the phone to now we can see that smart watch can pick up the range of calls so now i am placing this smart watch inside the bag so i have closed it completely i am checking whether it it has any holes or area which allows the rays so now we can clearly see that the bluetooth has been disconnected from the smart watch so hence proves that this faraday bag stops the signals which are been produced by the satellites i conclude my topic and i think it will be understandable for you thank you for seeing this